Tough loss up at there, the one nothing uh, defeat. How much was that on your mind? Coming um, in? Well, we knew uh, that was a big loss in the early in the season, but um, it actually kind of helped us out as uh, motivated us to not let it happen again. And we came out today with a goal in mind, and we completed that goal and got the win. Today, you know, we, we, we definitely want to win and beat these guys and you know, have a kind of a statement game. And these are guys that, that are, you know, they won the league last year, uh, good coaching staff, and they're going to hang in every game. So I think, you know, getting giving up that one run really lit us up because we needed some energy. And Harvester is the guy, man, to really like, 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 you know, be our spark plug. And he's been the spark plug last year and this year. And you just tell me, he's energy all over the field, and we lit up and we, you know, play behind him. And I didn't have to say anything to get him pumped up. You know, I was kind of, you know, I keep it to myself, but, you know, like, you know, we make a bad play or have, you know, some things not go our way. Yeah, you know, it's not the time to yell at our guys because they played a great week. I just let them take care of themselves because I have a lot of faith in them. And, and these guys are, you know, ready to play. So. How much do you think Joe won in this game? He had a tough loss up at Peckway. You know, one nothing unearned yeah. run. Yeah. You know. Joe deserves it, man. He, you know, he deserves to be back at him again because, we threw, I guess, you know, you have two runs, and no, I'm sorry, three runs today and one run uh, the last game. But Joe's a great pitcher. He pitches the contact, throws a lot of strikes, um, and you know, had him off balance there for a little bit. Again, they, they're going to figure stuff out and make adjustments because they have uh, you know, a good team and good coaching staff. But you know, we, we feel that you know, we had Haberstroh ready to come in. Um, but Joe, Joe's velocity, velocity looked pretty good at the end of the game there, so you know, there's no reason. And I'm going to let him in and let him win. Uh, I mean, he got six outs. Yeah. Uh, pop up on the infield, pop up behind first base, a uh, fly ball that started it that, that we felt should have been caught. Um, you know, I, 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 I really couldn't say in that inning, um, I think McCafferty hit a single up the middle off the end of the bat. Um, you know, I wouldn't say roughed up. I think that his uh, defense let him down a little bit. You know, I think that fourth inning was you know, two pop-ups dropped, the fly ball that dropped and two walks. I mean, it wasn't that they, they necessarily uh, came out and bludgeoned us, but you know, in these type games where you're playing a team that's that's the top of the, the class in, in terms of talent, you just can't make those kinds of mistakes. And, and I, they have they have some ball, some ball players on that team that have a lot of experience. Um, he's a kid who I saw when I coached at Lebanon Catholic as, as a sophomore. Um, he's turned himself into a very good baseball player. Pounds the strike zone, 
you know, he's picked up velocity as, as he's grown and, and gotten older. And, um, you know, you can't say enough about a kid like that pitching in a game like this. I mean, I think everybody involved knows that this is uh, the game that we look forward to. And, and uh, I think that for a senior to come out at home against Pequa Valley and put forth the performance that he did says a lot about the work that he puts in and, and you know, the player that he's become.